Obviously an unfortunate situation out there in the west with all the fires and the smoke. Now we don't have those issues out here in the east, but we are tracking some things in the tropics that will affect our weather a little bit here in southern New England early this week. We'll talk about that in just a second. First though, let's enjoy some views of Newport. Pretty view this morning. Notice a little bit of sun trying to get through the clouds there. We'll have a few more clouds around compared to the sunny skies that we had yesterday. And this is a look at Narragansett Town Beach where temperatures right now running in the 50s. Now we will be looking at some rough surf, some high surf, especially as we head into Tuesday because of the tropics. So let's get into that discussion right now. This is Hurricane Paulette, this category one storm right here. We also have Tropical Storm Sally just off the coast of Florida that will head into the Gulf of Mexico. So there is a lot going on. We have more storms there to talk about, but really I don't want to get too much into that right now. Let's just focus on the two in this weather forecast because so much to talk about, so little time, right? This is Hurricane Paulette. Now this little speck here, that's actually Bermuda. So unfortunately for Bermuda, they have hurricane warnings later on tonight into tomorrow. This storm likely does pass right over Bermuda or at least get very close. Obviously a serious situation here. Now in terms of our concerns here in Southern New England, notice what happens. The storm ends up pushing away as high pressure at the surface will sort of push that storm out to sea. So that is good news for us. However, the storm does get close enough, especially Monday into Tuesday right here to propagate some of that wave energy towards Southern New England. So that's why we will be looking at the potential some dangerous rip currents as we head from the beginning to the middle part of this week. So just be mindful of that. We'll keep you updated on those water conditions. Speaking of water, let's now go down to the Gulf of Mexico where we're tracking Tropical Storm Sally. Now Sally will likely strengthen as it continues to move to the northwest into the Gulf of Mexico. It may end up as a category one or two at landfall along the Gulf Coast later on this week. And here's the issue with this storm. Obviously there is always a concern with storm surge and wind, but look at how slow this thing is. You can see this is Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, not a lot of movement. Those slow moving storms can be especially dangerous when it comes to rainfall and there is a potential of over 10 inches of rain across parts of the Gulf Coast Tuesday, Wednesday into the end of the week. So we'll keep you updated on that as well. It's much quieter here locally. 52 in Smithfield. We're at 47 in Taunton, 55 in Newport. Our dew points are fairly low. We're in the 40s and 50s. That's almost non-existent here in southern New England. These dew points will be ticking up a little bit today into the 60s. So you will notice a slightly more muggy feel to the atmosphere later on today. Breezes are calm in Providence, three miles an hour from the north in Smithfield as high pressure continues to sit to our northeast. That is pumping in those winds from the east as high pressure moves further away today and a front approaches. We'll have those breezes turning more from the south this afternoon, dragging in some of that higher humidity air. Eventually this front comes through tonight into tomorrow, but there is not a whole lot of moisture with that front by the time it arrives into our area. That's why the rainfall will likely be quite sparse overnight through tomorrow morning. It's possible we end up getting no rain at all from that system. It would have been nice to get some nice overnight rainfall tonight into tomorrow morning to help make up that rainfall deficit. At the beach today, partly sunny skies, temperatures around 70 degrees and on the water winds out of the southeast 5 to 10 knots with uh, high tide on the way at 5.05 this evening, low tide 10.17 this morning. Temperatures will be running in the mid, maybe some upper 70s inland today along the coast. will be in the low 70s with those breezes turning from the south. So not a bad day to spend outside. And notice this evening, not quite as cold as the past several nights. Midnight, we're into the 60s instead of the 40s and 50s like we're seeing right now. And then you can see those evening temperatures kind of staying steady with the higher humidity and the clouds around tonight. So in the seven day forecast, you will see that uh, it's a pretty nice start to the week for back to school 80 on Monday and then on Tuesday it's a little less humid a little cooler with 68 for a high temperature Wednesday a little milder with a high temperature of 75 degrees but not a bad looking week as we head back to school WPRI.com the place to go